So yeah. we've all got various shades of a beard in here. Yeah. But are you fellas ready to be cucked? Really? You ready to be? Are you ready to see? Are we beards? about to see some fucking oh, that put our top beards tier beards to absolute fucking yeah, shame? Yeah, get it over with, dude. This is the world's Only longest like beard. Right now, now, this is like the longest and biggest beard that's ever been recorded in the history of mankind. That's fucking impressive, dude. Um, Whoa. Go ahead and bring him up here. Inform you want me to just people. bring up the picture of him, or you want the article, too? Uh, I'll bring up the article. You can just bring up the picture if you want. Let's take a look at this guy. You got to see this shit to dun, believe it. Dun, All right, so oh, you guys oh, ready man, for this? The begins. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? You see it thrown over his shoulder there? Yeah, he had to throw it over his shoulder. This is Hans Langseth. He died in North Co- North Dakota in 1927. Um, uh, he left his surviving children with a final wish. After his open casket funeral, he wanted to have his beard cut off and stored for posterity. Awesome. His son acquiesced, lopping off his father's beard before the cast- casket was buried. The beard sat tucked away in a box in an attic for decades before Langseth's son, Russell, donated the beard to the Smithsonian. And where it sits to this day, they still have this beard. Yeah, you can see pictures of it up here. Dude, preserve for posterity. Yep. That's awesome. Here it is. Uh, here, here's being held. Look, it just goes on. It's like two guys to hold it. It's still going. Yep. So he was born in Norway <laughs> in 1846, but immigrated to the United States as a young man, settling with his wife in Kinset, Iowa. Um, according to physical and forensic anthropologist Dr. David Hunt, Langseth began growing his prodigious bristles when he was just 19 years old to compete in a local beard growing competition. After the competition ended, he decided to just keep doing it. Did he win? Uh, yes, he won. Okay. Uh, though beard hair can only grow about four or five feet before dying off, Langseth matted the dead hair together in a coil like that of today's dreadlocks. So. When it got, like, down where you see where it's around his balls, that's about the length of a human beard. That's about the length that your beard can get under normal human conditions. <laughs> right. But instead of allowing his beard to fall off and break at that point, he started to mat it together with other parts of the beard to keep it there and thus had basically a super long beard lock. Wow. It would be a bitch to have that, too. Because you have, 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 like, a bag or a backpack or something to carry your beard Yeah, but you know what? Like, no matter what you do in life, everyone's going to fucking know. You're going to be famous just automatically. I I know where you go. It's going to be like, there's a dude with a really long beard. Uh, It's kind of interesting that he saved his beard from an anthropological uh, anthropological point. That's right. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. I hate that word <laughs> um, because they're able to look at it and it's kind of a timeline of his life. You can see that That's the beard cool. is lighter when he was a younger man, which is what happens with your beard. It right. gets darker as he's older. And because he started at 19, there are artifacts from his life all throughout this beard. Yeah. So like grains of wheat from when he worked as a wheat uh, husker and shit. Hmm. Um, they, they found little flecks of wheat in that part of his beard from that part of his life. So it acts as kind of a weird timeline. It's of like, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a tree's ring. Damn, dude. dude, that is really fucking cool. Um, yep, so let's see. Langseth's beard was officially dubbed the longest beard in the country in 1922 in a celebration meant to spur economic growth in San- Sacramento, California. <laughs> That's weird. Can you imagine that? Like, you're sitting in this country, and you're just like, you know what? I'm, like, just today, if like you were awarded that, like, I have the longest fucking beard of all. Like, there's like 320 million people here, and I'm number one at something. I mean, back then, obviously, there wasn't that many, but like 80 million people. Whatever it was. So at the time of measurement, Langseth's beard was measured 17 feet long. The second place beard, growed by Zach Wilcox from Carson City, Nevada, measured a mere 12 feet. <laughs> Pussy. Not even the conversation. Pish posh. A scant 12 footer. Oh, 12 nothing. feet. Nothing. Bare- nothing. Basically nothing. Mildly but clean I shaven. Tell you, that, that, he's died. He's gone. And there still is a biggest, baddest beard in town. And let me tell you, it looks a lot different from this one. And it's got a way different personality, I imagine, behind it. Uh, if you want to grab his picture, TJ, and I'll open his. Uh, here he is. Here he is. Um, this is the current biggest, baddest the beard. The king of the beard. The reigning the champion. Um, God damn it. I opened the wrong fucking thing. On you stupid son bitch. Uh, yeah, this guy has a very different look to him. Uh, yes. 
Let's see. The longest. It definitely gets way wispier the longer it, it goes. It does, too. and that you know, there are some people that uh, say that maybe he's doing some kind of weave down there. This is a hotly contested beard, but yeah, it has been know. tested by Guinness. It's and not as thick though. It's not. They've as thick. confirmed it genuine. There's actually a video on this on the page. You might want to pull up TJ where we get a uh, quick look at the actual length of this beard. That's all right. So let's take a look. Better. All right, well, now listen, besides crazy or death to Who wants Justin to be Kelly. a millionaire? Listen, this See beard is here. crazy. So here he is. There's the unveiling, and he'll kind of show you. And uh, they, they give a full scroll down here that you'll want to watch. So look at it. All right, let's go. So there he goes, screen. and there's his feet. Oh, shit, but there it goes. And it's still, still going. Still going. That's pretty impressive right there. They couldn't even get his whole beard and him in the shot together. Um, it was initially measured on the set of Low Show Day. Low Show Day. Um, re- uh, recorded in Rome, Italy on Mar- March 4th, 2010, where yep. it then measured seven feet, nine inches long. Uh, the record was first part of the Itali- Italian TV show Low Show Day Record, and when remeasured in September 2011 for a US- US-based TV show, in this case, Regis and Kelly, it was shown to have grown much longer. Um, so... Yeah. It's now eight feet, uh, 2.5 inches long. That and, wasn't even... And apparently growing. That would have only been like third place or less in 1922. Yep. People are slacking these days. Uh, he says, without his beard, he's not him. He says, without my beard, I'm not me. I'm pretending to be someone I'm not. Well, I wouldn't want him to do that. I wouldn't want him to do that. Yeah. Let him, I can't let step your... to his beard. Sarwan Singh, you got to fuck it. I'm not going to step to your beard, homie. That's you your pussy. You are defeated. I mean, you can't, dude. That's your pussy, dog. That's your pussy. I'm backing out. I'm backing out. Back I'm down, backing Paul. Back out. down. I'm backing out. Sarwan. Sarwan. That's your pussy, Sarwan. Sar- Sarwan. 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 Sarwan just shows up at your house, Paul. You're just going to leave, dude? I'm backing out, Sarwan. Sarwan of right. beard cod. You going to step to Sarwan Singh? No, I'm leaving, dude. You going to step to that big ass? He'll whip that I'm... beard around your neck and strangle you with that motherfucker. No, I'm, I'm rolling out, dude. Whip my hair back and forth. He shows up at my house. I'm gone, dude. I'm bouncing. Then he'll do like a fucking Bollywood dance as he's strangling you to death. I don't want Sarwan. I don't want no piece of this man. That beard is too good. Too good to even be true. Um, there's uh, The last thing I pulled is just some pictures of some crazy facial hair designs. Yeah, why not? Are you interested into. to be involved in our Pouted Magazine exclusive list? Pouted? No, no. No, no thanks. Right, Sorry. Dude, dude. So just, just Whoa. some crazy Whoa, shit dude. that dudes have done with their beards here. Damn, it's like a fucking Dali painting. Yeah. That Pretty nuts. Cool. I mean, you got to imagine that takes forever. This, yeah, that looks like... I mean, I, 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 just trying to control that little mustache I had, I can't even imagine the insane amount of fucking product you got to put in something oh, like this. Time. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. That's pretty dope, too. It's like a fucking tentacle fucking yeah. right looks there. Yeah, like Cthulhu rising from the deep. Yeah. It's another... Damn, look at this dude. He's got, like, tiered levels yeah. of fucking... He's got, like, three different mustaches going yeah, on. Yeah, there's, like, mustaches pasted on top of each other. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck, dude? Look at that. It's like... That dude, is, like... Just... That's, like, a golden ratio thing right there, dude. Yeah, man. That is mathematical and shit. Yeah, it's like Superman 64 hoops. You got to fly through the <laughs> shit. Yeah, dude. Wow. That's cool. Oh, that's, that's like cotton. Oh, go down like to the next one, dude. That's a something. fucking... Nah, that's Whoa. a gentleman right there. That is a what dapper gentleman. God damn, Good son. day, sir. That Hello. Doesn't, Good doesn't even look to possible. You. Best of luck. Where then? This dude's just like, I'm just going to go with like the ultimate fucking crazy mutton sideburn, chop. Yeah, sideburn, sideburn looking circles, looking dude. Shit. Yeah, he's got ringlets. Oh, damn. Damn. Now that's pretty fucking epic. Dude, if you turn this motherfucker upside down, that's basically Rick from Rick and Morty's <laughs> hair. Yeah. He has a Rick on his fucking face, dude. Damn. That's intricate. Look at this one. Oh, this dude, like, shit. Braided this shit. Yeah, he, didn't, he braided it like a dream catcher or something. Kind of like a celt, dude. <laughs> a fucking celt. Yeah, like a celt. This goddamn piece of shit. That's not as good. No. What? Um. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> um. It's like I you're mean, playing tic tac sweater. I guess it, lo- it looks uh, like you like you got burned by a waffle iron. Dude. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's like what the fuck is this? Whoa! Whoa. Hell yeah, that's dude. the fucking Jimmy octopus Christmas. right there, dude. Wow. Looks like a uh, Davy Jones from the fucking pirates movies. It's fucking insane. Damn. Damn. That dude looks like you could put an eye out. 
if he turned the wrong way too fast. Dude, know? it looks like a fucking... If you just take him out of it and just leave the beard, it looks like some kind of crazy demon crab or yeah, something. Yeah, like a sea urchin or some crab shit. Crab people. Speaking of... Spi- oh, yeah. this is... He, he made it intentionally yeah, look like a spider, dude. Yeah, he got a spider beard, bro. Spider beard, spider beard, looking strange and looking weird. Whoa. Now that's that's interesting. That's an interesting. See, he didn't go as intricate as some of the other people, but he just, you know, he knew what he want. He was like, "I'm just gonna take my mustache and take all the hair that I can conceivably make look like a mustache I am and have the biggest, burliest mustache <laughs> ever." That's pretty awesome. I like that. <laughs> Whoa! Dude. Wow! Mad you imagine professor. this dude in gay porn with a dick through each one of those ringlets, dude. Yeah, and not only that, but I like my ringlets. I just love his overall oh, aesthetic, yeah. too. Fucking ringlets are so tight, old man. Fuck yeah. This guy's got something oh, going on. He looks wizard. like a mischievous little butt pincher or something. Yeah, dude. He does. He looks like he sexually Ooh, harasses excuse people. Excuse me. I pinch your rump. This is, an actual, this is actually a photo of uh, Gimlick from D&D. Dude. That might be him, yes. <laughs> This, this dude, dude like made, made like a diorama. Yeah, there's like a fucking. This is like a a scene. There's like a there's like a house and a tree, and, and, a, a, and a dude it's riding a horse and, horse and shit. shit. Damn, dude, it's like a fucking. Enclosure. Yeah, this guy created a scene in his beard. Well done, sir. Wow, yeah. he's, he does I can't different even compete. ones. I guess. Oh, oh look, here's it's another London one. Bridge, dude, it's fucking. What the fuck, dude? London he made his Bridge beard is falling London down. Bridge. That is fucking cool. What is it? That's here? a steaming cup of coffee. Oh, okay. You see it over there? Yeah. Okay. It's a windmill, a dude. A windmill, dude. Uh, this motherfucker right here is just showing off now. This guy's a Come fucking on, genius. Man. He's just showing off now. God damn it's you, rubbing sir. in our fucking faces. Like, look, you guys will never have. Wow. You'll never have this beard. I will never have a beard this resplendent. How come there's no pictures in your beard, Paul? I don't know, dude. I don't know. It doesn't do anything. You talked a lot of shit, Paul, but I don't see a, I don't see a fucking windmill going on. I don't yeah. see a fucking octopus. I don't see a Spider-Man. Whatever. I do what I do. I'm an individual, okay? I don't want a windmill. If I wanted a windmill, I'd have one, okay? <coughs> I don't think you can have like a windmill. I like the burliness. I'm you don't, have a, that you don't have a windmill with. game with your beard, Paul. It's not even a wi- Paul's beard is a fucking joke. No windmill or nothing, dude. My beard's a joke, you Amish fag. Fuck you. This is a man's beard, Paul. It's a like lady's beard. This is a man's beard. What's your sparrow beard, beard, TJ? You know what? Fuck you, TJ. You talked all this shit. I, I, you know, I, I fully admit I can't have a fucking... Oh, look at that weak-ass beard, dude. This beard is beautiful. The beard ain't shit. You know nothing about that beard? <laughs> Why you, you... They can't even see that. Stop. <laughs> God damn it. I'm te- fucking... Spritz that beard. Shove that up your fucking ass. God damn it. Son dude, he bitch. found that earlier, and Scotty was like, dude, it was such a fucking mistake for TJ to leave this right by my fucking desk, dude. I was like... Oh, I man. didn't do it. Yeah, you did. This you is were here a real, before we were here. This is a there. real man's beard. DJ, that's a Paul's beard, beard is fucking nah, dude. dog shit. You know why Paul beats you? I'll tell you exactly why. Where the fuck is your mustache? Hey, where's your stash at? You know what, dude? I t- got rid of the stash because oh, it was just distracting from the glory of the beard. I mean, I'm not saying you got a bad beard. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the beard. Look at it. Let's look at Paul's beard now. Yeah, look, about, look beard. I'm, I'm not even... What I'm, beard? I don't have a fucking dog in this Those fucking fight, beard. really. I don't got a fucking good beard. I ain't gonna win. I don't see a beard. I don't even think Paul has a beard. Dude, I got more beard than you've got. Paul, how long has your beard about? Dude, about I've, got, foot? I've got the amount of hair that makes up your entire beard on my upper lip, TJ. On my upper lip. Oh, TJ, you're gonna take your that? Your entire beard exists. You know what? Let's do a poll. Who's got a better beard, TJ or Paul? Go to Patreon, TJ. Yeah, go, go ahead and do it. get that picture of white guilt Paul pulled what up, you, you piece about? of shit. I'm just TJ. going to your cam, dude. See, right there. Yeah, there's my cam. How about there a poll, is. TJ? Oh. How there about a poll, TJ? Look at it. God damn you, TJ. I fucking hate you. I just did a zo- I zoomed well, in on you. At this point. So people at, can see your beard close up. At this point up. in the Paul timeline, you win. I'll give you that. You're a piece of shit, TJ. <laughs> what? This is a close-up of Paul now. This is a dark time in my life, TJ. For you to drag this out now shows how I demand a goddamn poll, TJ. To to try and win a All right, I'll go We're not even it. live, bitch. I don't give a shit, dude. You go ahead and create your I'll own call. fucking I'm poll. I'm going to do it right now, bitch, because you're obviously afraid. I'm not afraid of shit. There's no reason it. even creating a poll. Why don't you do this? It's like, if is the sky blue, mind, yes or TJ. no? Who has a better beard, TJ? If you're fuck, TJ, if you're not afraid, then go ahead and do it. Two full fistfuls of beard, TJ. Not just like in between your hands. Look at look in there, TJ. I got beard. There's nothing but beard in that hand, TJ. You got nothing. You got a little finger. You got a little finger full. Look at this beard, TJ. Look at this. Look at this. This is hot off a trim too. That's nothing. Look at this beard. (laughs) Boom. That beard's garbage. I'm like a year away. And you know what? I grew this. I was clean shaven this morning. 
This is just a day's growth right here. That's all this is. A day's growth. Day's Fuck growth. Fuck out of here. You've been growing that thing for what, 20 years? Fuck out of here, TJ. You it's barely stubble. This is beautiful. You can't compare with this beauty, Paul. It's a non-committal neck beard, This TJ. is a man's beard, A non-committal neck beard. This is a fucking man's beard. Most of the beard. men in history, like if you walked in, oh, dude, if you went into a Celtic village, TJ. Celtic. A, yeah, Celtic. that's what I said, a Celtic, Celtic village. Celtic, Celtic, Celtic. When you went into a Celtic village, TJ, with that beard, you'd be asked, number one, where's your fucking mustache, laddie? And number two, what are you that you deserve to have a beard on your face? Come here, laddie, and let me take that off for you. You wouldn't even get to keep it. I'd stroll up in there, and he'd say, Lo, who's this bearded man that come before me? And I'm going to say, Paul of the Beard Clan, who is this whimpering dog that asks who stands before me? You know, I, I can go, see why. I can see why you like. Uh, I can see why you like. Edward Would you like to Paul. forecome fuck me, wife? I'd be like, no. I can your see wife why you like Edward Scissorhands, Paul, because your life is a fucking fairy tale at this point. You don't even know how to handle your beard. You don't. Know how You're to living in a fucking beard. fantasy, Paul. You're living in a fucking fantasy. If right, I walked TJ, in that bar, they'd crown me king of the fucking Pole town. Paul is live, yeah, TJ. King of the town. I'd be William fucking Wallace, bitch. Yeah, you're headed the pole, be on a TJ. pike. What pole? It's out there now, dude. Who cares? No one even saw this episode. They don't even They're have a basis of fucking comparison. They're see it. And, and TJ, they, they both know it. Look, our patrons know what you guys' beards look like in general. Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't. They're stupid. They don't know they'll, shit. They'll get to watch this episode. They don't know shit, they'll Scotty. They'll get a good look at what a real beard looks oh, like. Oh, you saw how scared he was, Paul. He wouldn't even make the poll. You know what? Episode's over. Oh, Fuck no, you guys. No, 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 no. I don't have to put up with this oh, nonsense. This episode is over. I don't oh, have to put up with this fucking my shit. My beard isn't as good as Paul's. Oh. Let's end on a positive note. 